Now that's exactly how you get eight speed amount chemistry. Remember, building a Today in this video, I'm going to share with you three invaluable tips on how to excel in the chemistry part of BMAT section 2. As we all know, this section is a crucial component of the admissions process, and mastering the chemistry part of BMAT section 2 might help you get a space at the medical school of your choice. So without further ado, let's dive into the tips. Tip number one is all about building a strong foundation. The chemistry questions in BMAT section 2 are there to test your fundamental understanding of basic concepts, and so it's crucial to have a grasp of the basics. You should start by reviewing key topics from the BMAT Assumed Knowledge Guide which can be found for free online. From here, you should look at topics such as atomic structure, chemical bonding, and kinetics. Don't hesitate to consult your textbooks and exercise books from GCSE, just because you'll probably be able to understand them a little bit better, just because you've seen them once before. Remember, this time is crucial in trying to bridge your gaps in knowledge. As you revise, you should always try to understand the underlying principles rather than just memorize the facts. Just because in the BMAT, they will be testing you on the, princi on the principles themselves and not the facts that come up in the assumed knowledge guide. This will also give you the confidence to tackle more complex problems that you'll find in the BMAT section 2. Moving on to tip number 2. Practice makes perfect. The chemistry part of BMAT section 2 is known for its tricky questions which require critical thinking and careful analysis. To really excel you're going to have to expose yourself to loads of different practice material and most of it can be found for free on the BMAT official website. You need to set aside dedicated time for these practice questions. Try to simulate exam conditions as best as you can, so set a timer and make sure that you do questions in timed conditions. That's the biggest mistake that people do, because if everyone had unlimited time to do all of the questions for the BMAT, everyone would get 100%. The difficult part is doing it within the time limit. This will help you not only increase your speed, but your problem solving skills. As you work through the questions, try and get a grasp for the types of question types that they like to ask just because the sorts of concepts that they gel together would probably be the same for the real exam. The questions won't be exactly the same, but the concepts and how they gel together might be. To help others get into Cambridge, me and my friend Faraz made a BMAT course on sigmamed.co.uk. It covers everything you need fairly comprehensively, including the strategies that we use to get top marks in the BMAT, content for section two, and essay examples for section three. We found some of the third party resources were lacking and the assumed knowledge guide can sometimes be a bit much to trawl through. Hence why we made the course to kind of condense everything down and get all the high yield stuff all in one place. And last but not least, tip number three is to learn from your mistakes. You need to analyze your mistakes so that you can progress. After completing your questions, take your time to review your answers, seeing whether you got them correct or not. Identify the areas that you struggled with and ask yourself why. Was it a lack of understanding? Was it because you ran out of time? Did you misinterpret the question? Maybe make a study journal, jotting down all the things that you've learned from a practice paper this makes sure that number one, you've actually learned something, and number two, that you don't forget it in the future because you'll have a record of it for you to go through. This will be really valuable when you get to the exam just because you'll have a big document of everything that you've got wrong before, and hopefully you won't make the same mistake for the exam. Now that's exactly how you ace BMAT chemistry. Remember that having a good foundation, practicing lots of questions, and analyzing mistakes will put you in good stead for the exam. Stay determined, stay focused, and you'll be well on the way to smashing the BMAT. If you found these tips helpful, then please like the video, uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your BMAT prep.